Hi everybody, I've got a new stream series for you. This time I'm showing my approach to creating a stylized plane in Modo, Substance Painter and Designer. For those of you who don't know me, I'm John, aka Graffiti, and I'm an environment artist with experience in both the animated film and games industries. As always, these videos are recorded live streams, and therefore there's no music, and each video is quite lengthy. So you might want to increase the speed of the video and put your own music on in the background. If you want to see me make stuff live, then please tune into my Twitch channel, and you can follow me on Twitter for updates. If you have any questions about my process, then please comment below and subscribe for new videos in the future. Enjoy. And now we're back in and I'm writing a things to do list because I need to finish this project. I also need to do my presentation and there's some other shit I need to sort out. So yeah, fun times all around really. Um, so I might do some more modeling today on the background, some texturing, uh, texturing materials, uh, then maybe like some kind of lighting setup, etc. etc. Et so, yeah, well, I can't see how many people are in at the moment. No, it doesn't want to load any stats, so that's great. Great! I can move these there, that's quite good. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know who's in here, so you know, let me know if you've got any questions about anything and I'll try and answer them, but yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. Uh, what do I need from here? I don't need anything from here, so I need my reference folder. Earth would scroll and be moved picture. It's blatantly zoom in. Uh, open with, where are you? Open with. Okay. Some big ass planes. So we've got some wiring. Okay, so wooden planks. Wiring, metal gap things, um, and like some kind of edging, which will be all right. And that's all I'm planning on doing with it. And then maybe some markings or what have you. Ah, there we go. I can see everything now, so that's good. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's. Just get pure ref up somewhere. Pure ref. Get the busted RSI glove on. Oh, actually, is there a better? Can I move that around? Change log, whatever. Load. Recent. Right, okay, so let's just drag that image in actually. place to put this is probably maybe down here somewhere and now we need to change this to the grounded version that's the old one though planes grounded did I do a version of this? Where's this? Hmm. It's the problem with having not a, the most tidy scene.
pretty sure I could it uh no it is that one yeah that's fine and it's, it looks weird because the shading has got the actual maps I think yeah so let's put this on textured great but I think if we render this without hopefully destroying the stream Substances, painter maps, no, exports. Let's just have a look at our clips. So, for some reason, PBR, oh, it might be because it's in a, it was in another file location. So we want to go substances, exports, and then the diffuse color. That's all I'm bothered about. Yeah, that's great. Uh, so let's get all of these back on. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Plain details. Replace it still. And then metal parts as well. Roughness, normal high base. Cool, okay, well at least it's in now and we can see what's going on with them. What the hell? These things I did turn that off. Okay, great. And we'll put the environment off again. There we go. Get rid of that for the moment. And then so this is well actually John hasn't even opened it. Yeah, so basically I was thinking of doing some really ambitious, uh, you know, lots of different renders and stuff of, you know, this one thing in different locations, which would be great, but uh, I've got tons of stuff to do this month. So I also need to finish this project and it's not going to be the be all end all if it's not, you know, everything I want it to be, but I need to finish this project and stop wasting time on it really. And also, um, I can always come back to it. So the idea is to have it on, in its grounded form, 
um, on the deck of a, an aircraft carrier, um, just because I think that will be the easiest to, um, you know, easiest and kind of most interesting to render. Um, and I want to do a on the plane itself. Let's just write a little things to do list of what's left. Um, so things will be like the camo scheme. I don't think I'm going to leave it as red. I'm going to leave it as uh, kind of make it blue and white. Um, I need to check bakes, check bake errors, because there's a couple, especially for example on the top of here. Uh, you're just getting some weirdness if we go to. Uh, the, oh. Get past it, I think. Now I can just see. There we go. So that's really weird there, and I don't know what's causing this bit in here. So I need to get to the bottom of that. Um, but everything and kind of some bits in there and stuff. I think it's just going to be things will need painting over. That's fine. Um, I like the stuff in in here, for example, looks weird. So probably just going to tackle all of, all of that just so it's as good as it can be. Um, maybe some more wear and tear, um, or other finishing touches. Wear and tear. Uh, what else is there? Oh, the dials I need to, so the glass is one big thing. Glass material. And the last dial I need to do. And also the cockpit wood. And what else? Um, it's probably, you know, all right for the moment. So not too bad, maybe um, six things on the plane, about six things on the environment, but I thought if we crack on with the environment and get some things set up, maybe get into Marmoset or into Unreal and just see how it, um, how it all looks and what we can get the best uh, renders from, that kind of thing, um, will probably work quite well. So if we go back into Modo, Grab this guy. Select them all, copy, just paste him. Ace. Uh, I also need to play rounded one. with its um, wings out, ready to go, as well, so it matches the picture a bit more, or they're just stored, we'll see, who knows, whatever, um, so a couple more mesh items, and let's go crack on, so... Maybe just make it a little bit bigger, actually. 
nice thing in the scene, probably. Uh, let's turn that plane off for the moment. Action, hello, how's it going? To be honest, I could just do this as a uh, tile in texture. Hmm. Let's just throw this into substance and see what's happening. Yeah, good, thank you. How are you, Ryan? How's it all going? Okay, 
and then so in those gaps we want another thing we want a shape Stress being offered three jobs and picked one and then another came back offering more money but asked if I can let them know after a week trial. A week trial. So are the jobs around here or um, are they further afield? And do you know what kind of things you'll be working on? It seems odd to go and work for a week to see if you like it if you know if you get what I mean why is this updating is it yeah there we go okay so distribution map input do anything did it I need to turn something on One is in Yorkshire working 3D modeling animatic. The other is working on the new Fast and Furious film. All right, well. 
I mean, which one of those is uh, un? <laughs> Are you check you're not breaking any NDAs there. <laughs> um, Are they both um, where you are? good and okay so what we need to do now is we need a base mid gray okay and then we want to blend planks onto the top wax lighten and then we want to blend Holes, subtract, and then we'll have to fill in these two together. But we also want to mask some stuff out, so. Not saying any yet, so can say, well, the Fast and Furious is London based. But if I would, be, you, I choose the film. If you have a big movie like that in your resume, you always get jobs. That's true. Yeah, the other one, I get to work with Disney too, so that makes it hard. Okay, that's true. Maybe look for information about the cities which you more like. Yeah, um, is the oh shit is the Disney project. A game based thing, or is it a film based thing, or you know, what kind of is it going to be? Kind of, are you doing very much hard surface stuff? Is it just modeling? Um, okay, so let's get this. Oh, that's 
also get some tessellation going. And what will also be nice is so these have already got. Here we need to get a blur going on. It needs to be the same as this really 1.23, let's just put on one. Just to soften things out a bit. I kind of want these to be slightly thicker. Both are film based with electronics, so it's just crazy. Well, good to have offers. thinking these need to be wider on five before. Oh, what am I doing? Why don't I just... Then I can scale it out a bit, I think. Okay, so what if we just export this in a moment anyway? Let me just... Uh, so... So the inverse of that uh, needs to be the metallic. why uh, what if I do a histogram scan to pick out those details Better. Uh -huh. 
everything transforms together. And then we also need, did you work with the pixel processor in SD? No, I've never used it, but I've heard good things about it. So what do you plug in? Uh, input image one, and it's a color. Okay, so, we get gradient and some sort of noise or directional. Directional noises. Let's get something like this then. Plug this into here. And then add a gradient, pick gradient, something like that maybe. And then let's just do a hue and saturation on this. scale it as well so if we copy and paste this right what do you do with it don't know so we'll leave it a little bit. Looks all right. What I might do is get a color in here. And then what would also be good is get an ambient occlusion node and a curvature. So, curvature is from there, AO is from there.
so boot camp doesn't exist anymore because I don't work at TT anymore. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm doing some, you know, Joe Wicks ones at home for the moment. Um, it's going pretty well. Uh, when we can squeeze it in. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, so it was free through um, through work. Um, through all, through TT anyway. But in the new place, there's um, they do put on a lot of free stuff. Um, so, which is you know really great. Um, and they're for all the studios in there because there's lots of different studios, um, lots of different creative studios. So that's really cool. Right, that might do for a quick first pass. Do you get to found, do we get to, um, not yet, uh, because I actually haven't signed my contract yet. Um, and that's because the office is super busy with other stuff right now. Um, and it's quite important, so. Um, you know, I'm just getting on with what I'm meant to be getting on with. Um, knowing that they're, they're good people and they'll, um, they will sort it when the time comes, uh, which will probably be quite soon, but just, yeah. Um, so for the moment, I'm going to still play my cards close to my chest because, um, the interwebs, um, I've heard, you know, horror stories and that. And I'm sure, I, you know, nothing bad will come of it, but I'm going to play it safer for the moment. And I think I might do another hue and saturation in here because... Or at least make them darker. Actually, to be honest, it could be that it's the other way around because it's bleached by the sun. And we should probably save this, you know. Uh, yeah, that's fine. 
export design maps. Save all. Uh, Bass, hello. As long as you're enjoying it, that's the main thing. Um, yeah, to be honest, I've had a great four days. Um, I started on Monday and um, I, um, yeah, it's going really well. Um, you know, and the days fly by, which is great. And also it's the most relaxed company I've ever been at. Um, it's kind of a bit, I know, I mean, I know it's early doors, but it's very relaxed and very welcoming. Um, yeah, it's great. Um, I kind of feel like I've got some energy back, which is great. Um, so Bass, um, my stream says, stream health says it's okay. Um, chances are the video might uh, drop out occasionally just because I'm rendering tessellation. Um, but it should all be working. Just work on your nice little plane. Yes, yes, forever. Action, forever. Although, um, at the beginning of the stream, I wrote a new um, list. Basically, I'm going to try and finish this thing as quickly as possible because um, I've got other stuff to do this month and it's not the BL, it's not gonna be the end of the world if I don't finish it. So, um, sorry, if I don't do everything that I set out to do, because I can always go back later and um, crack it. Although my computer is being quite slow this evening, I'm not sure why. Um, oh, and also, nice thing for the new job, I'm gonna have a Modo license. Yes! Finally! It's gonna be great. Yeah, they're all for people using what they um, think, what they're you know best in, and what they can do the you know their job the their job the best in and stuff like that. So it's super great. Um, yeah. And it's also, I've been using Modo 12 and um, it's quite nice. Some of the new um, features in it are quite lovely. Um, so I might need to speak to Modo about the or the foundry and ask about not moving on to a paying license every month because I could do with, you know, I've already paid for my license. Why should I pay again? Um, Run into your art station challenge recording on YouTube. Thanks for all that stuff. It's a really nice backdrop for this. So that it is a really nice backdrop for this. Oh, so Bass, are you doing the um, the new challenge then? Um, the Wild West challenge. Okay, so actually texture. Oh my god, come on, auto save. So I might just put uh, load image, get that high map in. Set it as the bump and um, see what this looks like in a render. Oh, I think the gaps might need to be smaller. Um, 
Hey Binary, how are you? Long time no see. Uh, so I haven't seen any updates. I mean, I've been busy, but um, how's your uh, Wild West challenge going? Um, need to do withdrawal because I can't find enough time for it currently. Yeah, I mean, that's it, uh, time. So Bass, um, do you want to post up your uh, link and we'll have a look at it? Um, if it's your first one, then um, don't get too host uh, disheartened by it. It's, um, it can be quite intense. Yeah, so I am going to make the... I think I am going to stick with this root uh, with just a tile in texture for this base bit that I can just spruce up, but I need to make the things tighter. So Substance Designer. And then the blend is down here somewhere. So in here, I need to make... That was probably a bit... Actually, no, let's... 0.2, that's... Oh, you know what? I think I prefer that. <laughs> and what can I do with these? I can just make them a tiny bit smaller, can't I? prefer that actually. Fucking great. I'm so glad I did this in Substance Paint Substance Designer now. Alright, so in this one we want them in what are they on 1.2 1 1.25? Where is that gonna go? That's too far. 0.22. Yeah boom, let's do that. The power of procedural modeling. Back to Modo, and we all always yes. Great. Oh yeah, that's much better. There's detail if you can see it. So it's just a ridge, and they all stand on it.
Uh, yeah, but Dan has to rush so hard through all his crit stuff. But that crit from you was really useful. It gives me some great handles to tackle scenes. Kind of lost hope today. Yes, it's really helpful to see things you would never see if anyone tells you. And for people like that, I just starting doing 3D and stuff. It really helps. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I, I kind of guess that. Um, yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, no one really wants to rush through anything, but I think. Um, it can't be helped sometimes when so many people, for example, want feedback. Um, I guess what we could do is we could have feedback streams and um, if you want feedback then you come along um, and participate. Um, I suppose that's what he does anyway. Uh, I'll ask Dan you know, how his setup works and adopt that if it's something that, you know, people are used to and enjoy, you know, it working out for them. Um, it seems that, um, you know, uh, his Discord, people, quite a lot of people do give out feedback quite often, which is a good thing to see. Um, Yeah, leave it with me. I um, will have a look into it in due course once uh, my workload is a bit less busy because I need to finish re-editing those uh, videos because I'm a perfectionist and uh, it will be the death of me. That, seemed fun. that seems fine. And those wires seem to come out of little bits in the floor, so actually I can utilise them as well. What I was talking about to Baz earlier. So essentially you have this and this. Like so. And then we do a projection. Planar in the Y project. And all we do is we give this the same texture. Move it like so. case we might need to find a plank that has less going on something like that maybe and then as for all these sides Do a atlas and and that's all we need to do. And then if we drop this now. Obviously, we put it on the right bit that it's meant to be on. Um, and also, what we can do is if we use 
nice bit like this. And then get them. And we tear them off, of course. Can get these onto those metal bits. This one. So, job is a good one. So now when we look at it, it looks like it should be coming up. Now, what would be good is if we had uh, something else going on in this bit here, um, or better yet, uh, if we Pause that. Maybe it's up a bit far. Uh, if we just move this down, like so. And then maybe we I think someone followed me. Use. Uh, Jew virus, goo, goo virus. I think. Thank you for the follow. Really appreciate it. Um, and uh, Pasc Pascual, Pascual. Is that how you say it? Thank you for the follow on YouTube. I will be um, updating my some videos shortly, so please do keep an eye on that. Um, and what we can do now is we can copy and paste these kind of all over the shop. So maybe we have one next to each other. Like so. And then we just move them in here. And likewise, just move these up and down. some detail without, you know, killing ourselves, which is great. So that's nice. What's, what does one say? Uh, wooden planks, done that. Metal gaps, done that. Done the edging, just need to do the wiring. That's the modeling done. So, I mean, this is all first pass stuff, but yeah. Um, so you just get a lot of fragmented bits. This way, things get put into context. Good. Uh, see, people. Yeah, what tons to do, no time to do it in. Um, <laughs> Any job, I don't say. Right, let's turn that off. And then, so this plane is at zero, zero, zero. Oops. Let's copy this, paste it. Copy and paste it.
can save this before it crashes. And I'm also to rotate things ever so slightly. And just kind of move them back and forth a little bit. might kill the stream a little bit. To be honest, I only need like one or two. Do it. Let me just put the uh, sky back on.
yeah, so I think I'm going to leave it there for tonight, um, just because I'm winding off in eight minutes anyway, um, but I'm quite happy with the substance I made. In fact, I need to photograph all of this. Um, for my stream progress. Um, yeah, so I'll just save that. Close that. Uh, yeah, so I am going to leave it there for this evening. Um, so if anyone who's come in and doesn't know what the hell's going on, then please drop it in the Discord. That will show you everything. Um, I've released some new um, tutorials on YouTube, so please check them out. There's two Modo ones, and there's a setting up a mass material in Unreal 4. Um, I'm also re-editing some other ones I've done, which is uh, my first environment, uh, modular, thinking about modular assets, implementing modular assets, uh, quick start to substance designer, and uh, baking tips. Um, I think there's another one as well, but I can't remember what it is. So I'll be posting it in Discord when those goes up and tweeting about them as well. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, if you've got any more questions, whatever, bung them in Discord and I will get back to you when I can. Uh, I have substantially more access to Discord now, so um, yes, uh, I can reply during the day and help you out on my lunch break and stuff. Um, yeah, good luck in the challenge, everybody, and I'll be back next Tuesday, and we're going to get the stream back on track with um, two streams a week, uh, for at least for the next month, um, and then I'm away again. So, yes, I'm now wittering on, and I don't need to, so have a great evening, have a great weekend, everyone, and I will see you all either in Discord or next week. So, yeah, thanks for coming along. See you then.